Are you afraid of starting van life? Or perhaps you're already living the van lifestyle, but started experiencing anxiety when it comes time to move to a new place. I belong to several women's Facebook groups having to do with van life and RV life. And that is a very, it's a very common post that I see where someone is expressing that they are so excited that they got their van built out or they got their new RV, but they are afraid to start traveling. Their fears range from safety to just the unknown of not knowing where you're going to stay that night. But all of them want to do the lifestyle because of the adventure, because of the new places that they will be able to see. And inexpensively, as inexpensively as you want to make it. I always tell people there is no adventure in living in an apartment. Stick around. And I'll tell you what happened to me recently that led to a source of anxiety and fear. It led me to analyze why I was feeling that way. So I want to share that with you fellow solo female nomads. Maybe it'll benefit you. I've been living in my van, Daisy, since the first weekend of November of 2023. And when I started traveling from Florida to the Southwest in December, I really felt no anxiety. I stayed at a couple of inexpensive RV parks in Florida and Texas in a Cracker Barrel, and then spent a week at a state park near Carlsbad, New Mexico. Then I made it to Quartzsite, Arizona, and bounced around there for nearly three months. During that time, I never felt unsafe or had any anxiety until I damaged the sewer system on my van by driving on desert dirt roads that I had no business being on. I made a video on that, and I'll put a link in the description below. I think I was pretty creative in the way I solved the problem, but I think the reason that triggered anxiety was because I realized shit can happen and shit's probably going to happen again. Also, I stayed in the RV park while I took care of the issue and that kind of gave me a sense of comfort and security. So when it was time to leave, I got travel paralysis. I was in Yuma at the RV park and it started getting hot. So I decided to go back to Quartzsite which is typically four degrees cooler, for a few days and figure out what my next move would be. I had planned on staying there for three or four more days, but it had gotten to 83 the day before, and I had to run my air conditioner and thus my generator to be comfortable in the van. So when the weather called for 88 degrees, I decided I had to go north. The problem was I didn't know where to go. I have reservations at a campground in Grand Canyon in May, but it's too cold up there now. I decided to head to Cracker Barrel in Kingman, Arizona, and I would figure it out then. The next morning, I stopped in Seligman to check out the Route 66 touristy stuff, and I found a cute KOA campground. It was right next to the railroad tracks, and I love the sounds of trains at night. I stayed one night, slept like a baby, and the next morning discovered it was going to get cold. I was very close to staying a few more days until the cold spell passed, but then I found a hip camp in Winslow, which was only two hours away, and it was in the high 60s. I should have stayed well, at the KOA. I made it to Winslow, Arizona, but <laughs> just before I got to the exit, I heard this big zip sound noise and a big bang. And so I'm in a parking lot here in, um, in Winslow and I'm gonna show you what it was. I lost my awning. So there's supposed to be an awning up there. 
that's what's left of the awning. The whole thing just blew off. I was struggling and fighting the steering wheel, driving through that wind for two hours, and I can't believe this happened. Awning disabled, you think? Ooh, I made it to my hip tip. <laughs> One of my uh, window shades almost blew away. I had to climb down in the ravine to retrieve it. Let me show you how bad it is. It's not too bad on this side of the van. I'm coming to you from the hip camp in Winslow. So I posted before I even left Quartzsite about my anxiety in one of the women's life, uh, van life groups. And one of the members uh, posted a response and um, I'm gonna read it so that I don't get it wrong because I think it applies to everybody and everybody should pay attention to this. She says, anxiety and excitement are the same chemical reaction in your brain, and you can choose which way it goes. I won't mention her name, but you know who you are, and thank you for that, because you see how I was worried that something bad was going to happen, and something bad did happen. However, it became part of my adventure. So the next time you feel anxious or afraid, just turn that anxiety into excitement for your adventure, and I promise you, you'll feel a whole lot better. Okay, so I'm going to leave you now. Catch you in the next video. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button.